Hello. I'm back. And in a different angle, because why not? Well, I don't really want to make a long video, but I kind of, I just wanted to say, well, and also, I have a haircut, and I shaved. Because I didn't want to look like a hippie anymore. And that's really the only reason why I can think of to give. Plus, I just wanted to shave anyway. And it was around the time like, I was going to get a haircut, so I'm like... Also, uh, if you hear that sound, that's a fan. Uh, I realized that in another video I posted, uh, you could really hear that, which is odd, because before, the fan would run, because my room's like the, is very, the room is very warm in the winter time. So sometimes, you know, I have the fan on. And, uh, I don't know why. So if this is very loud, if there's this ba loud background noise, that's what that is. Um, but, yeah, uh, so aside from my new look, um, uh, the Oscars happened. Casey Affleck won Best Actor, and I'm happy, because he deserved it. Uh, I know for a while there were those people talking about the, the incident, which I made a, a video or two about. I'm not going to get into it, but, you know, the evidence that's there, because of the civil suit, uh, makes, or not necessarily evidence, there really was no evidence at all, actually. Quite frankly, it's just, I guess, like the claims and stuff just made it seem a little odd. But, you know, that didn't affect his chances of winning an Oscar. And, uh, you know, I'm glad. Judging the performance, not the, uh, um, the person themselves, if they're a good person. Uh, but the other nominees were really good as well. I also saw La La Land. Saw a Hacksaw Ridge. I haven't seen Fences yet. And it, I didn't get... I just didn't get to see it, but I probably will when it comes to Blu-ray DVD. If I held Davis one, and I wanted her to win. Uh, but from all accounts, it seems like she was a uh, lead. She was leading actress. But it was her idea to be put in uh, supporting, from what I heard. Uh, you know, that way her, her chances of winning awards would be better. Which, you know, paid off. And I'm happy she won. Though, then again, I wonder how she would have fared against Emma Stone, the Best Actress winner. I wonder if Emma Stone would have won, or if Viola Davis would win. Um, uh, shoot, Ali. For whatever reason, I'm blinking on this dude's name. And I, like, looked it out. Up oh, not that long ago. I don't know, sometimes I'm just bad with names. Like, I, I haven't seen Moonlight either. Uh, I've heard it's good. But, um, you know, I've heard it, he was good, and, uh, you know, saw Manchester by the Sea, so I was kind of like, you know, I hope, you know, Lucas Hedges wins, though it didn't seem like. Uh, he would, since he really wasn't nominated for a whole lot of stuff. 
Casey Affleck and Michelle Williams were nominated for everything, basically, and you know, Affleck won everything but the SAG. Uh, but uh, I didn't think Hedges would win, uh, but I do know this dude's la uh, last name, Ali, Ali, so he won. Saw a few clips of him. Seems to be very good, you know. But I have to see it to see if I truly believe he was the best supporting actor. But, you know, and again, it's my opinion, but, you know, hey, like my opinion could be different than yours, and that's okay. Uh, but, then again, it's like when Steve Carell lost the Oscar to Eddie Redmayne, I was a little disappointed. Because I still think Carell did the better job, in my opinion, but Eddie Redmayne was really good, so I can't really be that upset over a very good performance. Beating a really good performance. Hell, they're both great. I just think Carell is better. That's just me, but, you know, even if I said, you know, Eddie Redmayne was really good, so... Maybe when seeing all the films and stuff, maybe I might think Lucas Hedges should have won Supporting Actor, or, uh, or Michael Shannon, or someone, uh, any of the other nominees, or maybe somebody who wasn't even nominated, like this person should have been nominated and won. Uh, but whatever. Uh, Damien Chazelle won Director, becoming the youngest director to win Best Director. Moonlight won Adapted Screenplay. Uh, Kenneth Lonergan won Original Screenplay for uh, yeah Manchester by the Sea. And, you know, Manchester by the Sea was my favorite film of last year, so I was a little disappointed that, you know, it did not win Best Picture. However, as I thought, you know, Walla Land would win Best Picture, and it did. And then it didn't. Uh, there, somebody gave Warren Beatty the, uh, you know this, and by now, but you know, somebody gave him the uh, Best Actress envelope. My question is, why would you do that? And also, doesn't it say like Best Actress or whatever on the front? Now then again, I guess, you know, if you're going to be presenting it, you're usually going to be looking at uh, the back of it to open it up and then pull it out. Apparently he did that. He saw it. He's like, I guess instead of going, like, trying to get the right one or whatever, because he was a little, he seemed confused, he tried to fade anyway. And it didn't even look like she necessarily really looked at it, uh, you know, looked at it clearly enough because, you know, she, it looked like she kind of glanced at it, but then I have to look at the clip again. Because she just, oh, so stop. Stop trying to be funny. And she looked at it and she said, la la land. She didn't see, like, Emma Stone, la la land. You know, they look like the best actress underneath. Um, at least that's what I believe, because, you know, the guy, or the producers for Lotto Line, actually held up the, the, got the thing and held it up, and it said, you know, Moonlight, uh, and the producer's name, it said, uh, producers, and it said, under, under us is per, uh, best picture, so. I don't think she really looked at the overall entire uh, thing. She just saw La La Land, so she said that, but some guy came up and said, oh, here's the real envelope, and they opened that up, and 
It seemed like La La Land was going to win Best Picture. You know. That's what I thought. I mean, I wanted Manchester by the Sea to win, but... It's just... I don't know. But again, I haven't seen Moonlight, so maybe it is. So perhaps it's good. I'm not going to say it's bad or anything because I haven't seen a movie. Uh, it's hard to tell if it's good or not. Um, but you know, that was something. Yeah, so that's all I have this time. See you later.